Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing after first campfire or after entering the tropics area, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to try DX12 in the launch option. So you can copy this. This is provided in the video description. Make a right click and then go to properties. In the launch option, type in dash force dash D3 D12. Now you can close this, launch the game and then check. So in my case, I have selected this play using DX12. So you can try this and then check. Now still not working. You can try this proton use WINE D3 D is equal to one in the launch option. So make a right click, then go to properties. This is also provided in the video description. Now over here, select this play peak using DX12 and then when you launch the game, it will update something. And once the update is complete, uh, you can launch the game. In my case, it's already up to updated. So now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you're able to launch the game, then, and especially if, the, if you're facing campfire crash, then first of all, look down at the ground as you enter the tropics area uh, let me close the game for now so you have to look down at the ground as you enter the tropics area keep looking down until you need to climb also light the campfire and look away from the loading zone then after it says forest day 2 slowly you can begin to turn around and then check avoid using all tab now many uh, Users, uh, when they use Alt Tab on the keyboard, you're facing uh, many users are facing the crashing problem. So you can avoid using Alt Tab while playing the game. Also, set the maximum frame rate uh, in the game to your monitor refresh rate. Now you can first of all open Windows Settings and go to System and then go to Display and then go to Advanced Display. Now over here in my case, refresh rate is 120 Hz. So whatever is your monitor refresh rate. You have to select the same refresh rate in graphics settings. So go to settings and then you can go to graphics and over here maximum frame rate in my case 120. So select same refresh rate as your monitor. Now also lower down graphics settings. So over here um, you can go to graphics and you can even try window mode. And if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p and uh, over here in my case, I've set this to render scale. You can set it to medium, medium, set it to medium or low, and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to now change your monitor, change your monitor to the correct video output. So set the right video output, uh, like uh, you can change monitor video output to maybe 2K. If this is set to 4K, you can even try 1920 into 1080p and then check. Next step is to try this in launch option. This has also worked for many players and this has worked for me as well. So you can make a right click, go to properties over here. You can just type in this. This is provided in the video description. Try launching with 1920 into 1080p. Uh, you can click on play and then you can you can select DX12 again and, and then check. If that does not work, you can even try this. Uh, you can even when you launch the game, uh, you can try uh, Vulcan also and then check which one is working fine for you, but without the launch option. So you can re remove this. And then you can select this ox when starting the game and then you can launch the game and you can select Vulcan and check if Vulcan is working or not. Now the next step is to go to this in registry editor and delete all settings starting with screen manager. Now for this, you can open registry editor. So type in registry editor in Windows search box, click on yes to allow, and then go to expand this H key current user, and then software, and then land crab, expand it, select peak, now over here you can see screen manager is starting from here screen manager screen manager till here it's all screen manager so delete everything that starts with screen manager make a right click and then you can click on delete click on yes 
and then you can relaunch the game or you can re even restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to rename peak folder in this location. So you can open file explorer in computer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open local low folder, now open land crap folder. Uh, you can Create a backup for this. Just copy this folder. Create a backup. Now, once you create a backup, uh, you can either rename this or you can open this and then make a right click on this game folder. And then you can set it to, you can just rename it. Once you rename it, uh, you can launch the game. And uh, you just create a backup as I've created. You may lose all the game progress. You might have to start everything from scratch. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file over here and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall. Click on change settings. Click on allow another app, click on browse, and then again go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open, and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, you can go to game installation folder, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, and then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on okay, make a double click, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, you can put a check over here, select, select Windows 8, hit apply, Click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. You can select Windows 7 over here. Hit Apply. Click on OK, launch the game. You can even put a check on Disable Full Screen Optimization. Hit Apply. Click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit Apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. This is important, so make a right click on the game. Select Properties. Go to Installed Files tab and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once this verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD card users, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, then restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer and then check. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. 
select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here you will see the game over here now click on the game over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here and then you can launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices from your computer so if you have any devices like hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controller sometimes you have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party of services or application running close it also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to do not overclock your computer if you have overclocked set it to default close all all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reva tuner anything close it disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay and close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update you will see check for update option click on check for update once everything is installed you restart your computer and then launch the game the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so download both the files so click on it and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install make sure both the files are installed once installed you can restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer 
make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working make a right click on the game select manage click and then click on uninstall after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to uh, like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time please like this video and subscribe to my channel